Hey guys, welcome to Bedford Greenhouses. My name is Trey and we are currently up by, this is Riverwatch Parkway, right on the back side of our property. Um, we have Greenhouse 12 that you can see as you're driving by. Usually you'll see some sunflowers a little bit later in the summer. Um, and then we got Veronica up there. She's actually working on the beehives right now. We're gonna have a huge harvest later. Um, we're very excited about. But what we wanted to talk about today is our new introductions from Proven Winners and Pleasant View Gardens. Um, these are the 2025 new intros. Super excited about a lot of these flowers. We've had them up here for nearly a month now. Um, it gets absolutely baked all day long up in these flower beds. I mean, there's maybe an hour break in sunlight and we try and water them every day. If we don't, maybe every other day but they've been doing fantastic. So I just kind of wanted to show you a few of the varieties that they sent us, a few that we're really excited about um, trying, especially for next year. Um, like I said, a lot of these are gonna be 2025 intros, so we'll have them next spring if it's something that does well and we kind of enjoy looking at it and has that appeal that really goes with our brand here at Bedford. Um, the one I'm probably most excited about is this white salvia. I think it's called Unplugged White, right here on the front edge. And it's a gorgeous, gorgeous, silvery white flower. And even when it's done blooming, you have all these little the seed pods that are gonna eventually form, which are real nice and still like white and silver. So it creates a nice kind of contrast in the garden. I've really been enjoying this petunia as well. We planted these so well and they're growing so well, you don't even know where half the bags are. Um, Let's see, there it is. This one is Supertunia Mini Vista Plum Veined. Real pretty, kind of rosy pink veins on that one. We have a few other petunias in here. Um, we're really excited about this dahlia variety. Really like the color on that pink dahlia. I think the name of this one is Pinkerific. Virtuosa, Virtuoso Pinkerific. Real pretty pink color. Dahlias usually struggle in our heat, so that one being up here and doing as well as it is is actually really exciting. Um, and then we have two really pretty kufias or kufias, however you want to pronounce it, doing really well up here. It's totally tempted frosted violets. Real gorgeous bicolor flowers. And then there's another one, kind of a real pretty coral see if I can find the tag for this guy. There it is, totally tinted watermelon wine. Real pretty coral color with like a dark purple throat on it. It's real nice. And then there's some other Angelonias. We have Coleus in the center there. There's a variety of a Super Bell, the Over Easy. We've grown this one before, but the real pretty yellow throat on that one. This Petunia, the, I think that's Bermuda Beach. Real, I mean, like, these things are huge on these flowers. Real big flowers on those. And then another one that we've tried before from other suppliers is Heliotrope. Never really done super well for us. Can't tell if it's the humidity or the heat that really does this one in, but this one seems to be doing really well with the dark purple. I think that's Aromagica Purple. But honestly, we're super impressed with just about everything up here. It's blooming well. The bees, especially from our hives, have loved it. We've tried to fertilize them, but you kind of want to plant things and really see how they do without too much care so that you could really kind of cater to your customer and, and give them the products that, that you don't have to stay on top of every single day. It's something you can kind of just plant and enjoy and take care of it here and there, give it a little haircut, fertilize it when it needs it, but not be fooling with it every single day. So real impressed with a lot of these varieties. Um, stay tuned, cause we're for sure gonna have a good bit of these next year and we're really excited to see them continue growing this summer. So yeah, thanks guys.